So the next feature I'm going to talk about in Photoshop 2021 is Neural Filters. You would find it in Filter, Neural Filters. So what's nice about this new option is that it has lots of filters like skin smoothing, style transfer. It has many, many, many options. So we're going to go one by one. We're going to start with skin smoothing. So as you can see here, I have a picture of a man which his skin isn't too perfect. So with one click only, it becomes perfect. So you have here an option of blur. You can increase the blur. It becomes too blurry. So I suggest just put it at 50. I think this is a good balance. And you have smoothness. You can either decrease it. You have to wait a little bit. It becomes less smooth. But if you put it at max, you can see here it became smoother and nicer. So I think this is the best option, 50 and 50. So we press OK, and now you have a perfect looking skin. So here we have a scenery picture. Let's go to the next filter, filter, neural filters. And this time let's go to style transfer. So let's click on it. And now you can transfer the style of any of these images into your image. So let's make this smaller so you can see more. And you can see you have a variety of options. So you can put show more. You can click on this one and you will have this kind of style on your image, which looks amazing. You can go down. There's lots of options. You have here Van Gogh. If you know the painter Van Gogh. So you will have the brush strokes of Van Gogh on your own image, which I think is incredible. Photoshop 2021 has done something amazing here, I think. So you have lots of variety. Here you have something called preserve colors. So you can actually click on it and you will preserve the colors you had on your previous image, but with the brush strokes of Van Gogh. So you can click on it and maybe decrease it to zero. So everything disappears. Or you can put the strength at like 40. So you can see a little bit of brush strokes, but it's not that strong. Or you can put it at 100 and now it becomes completely Van Gogh style. Let's remove preserve colors for now. I think it doesn't look so nice. And here you have the brush size. So you can put it at zero and the brush size will be very small, but you can put it at 100 and the brush size becomes so big. I think 80 was fine. And here you have an option of blurring the background. If you click on it, all the background here will blur up. It will take some time. But you can see some of it isn't, like the main subject here. And that's about it. Let's remove this one. I don't think it looks good. And pr press OK. And now you have a Van Gogh looking image. So let's go to the next one now. So here I have a face looking forward and looking clear. You can go to filter, neural filters. And the next filter I'm going to talk about is located in beta filters. It's called smart portrait where you can control the emotions of the subject. So click here. And now you have a couple of options like be happy. So click on be happy and put it at 50 and the subject becomes happy. You can see this big smile and this teeth. So let's put it now at minus 50 and the opposite happens. So she becomes unhappy. So now let's remove this and put surprise and put it at 50 and the subject becomes surprised, like what's happening? And now let's put it at minus 50 and the opposite happens. She becomes unsurprised, like she knows what's happening. Now let's remove surprise and put anger and put it at 50 and the subject becomes very angry. And now let's put it at minus 50 and the subject becomes kind of happy. And let's remove anger and now let's move to subject. So click here and here you can control the facial age. You can make it older or you can make it younger at minus 50. So now let's put it at zero again and let's move to gaze. So you can control where she's looking at. So you can put it at 50 and now she's looking to that side. And now you can put it to minus 50 and she will look to the other side. So now let's put it at zero again and move to the other one. You have hair thickness. So you can increase it to 50 and the hair becomes very thick. And now you can put it at minus 50 and the hair becomes not so thick. 
So let's put it at zero and move to the next one, which is head direction. You can move it to the right by 50 or move it to the left by minus 50. And you can move the light as well. So the light you can see here, it's in the middle. You can move it to the right at 50 and you can go to minus 50 and it will be on the other side to the left. And that's about it. So press OK. And now let's move to the next filter. So here we have a funny looking face. So what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna transfer the makeup from this image to this image. So you just go to filter, neural filters, and here you have something called in beta filters, makeup transfer. You click on it and click here, and you can either choose from a file you have or you can choose from a file you have here in Photoshop, which is makeup. I already have it here as a document. So you wait a little bit and here press OK. And in the image, you will have the face with makeup. So let's move to the next one. So here we have a picture of a guy in a forest. So if you want this image to be more focused on the guy and less on the background, you can go to filter, neural filters, and the next filter is go to beta filters and it's called depth aware. You click on it and click here and let's make this one smaller now. And you have an option of making a haze on the background. So Photoshop 2021 detects all the background and give it a haze. You can remove it. You can add it. You can increase the haze and you can decrease it. It becomes normal. So let's put it at like 50. And here you have an option of making the haze warm. So you can put it at 50 and it will have a warm color. Or you can put it at minus 50 and it will have the opposite. So that's, I think, a very nice and useful feature if you want an image which is more focused on the subject here and less on the background. So I don't think warmness will be very beneficial. I think just add a nice looking haze. And here you have a more focused picture. Press OK. And here you go. So the next filter is, so here we have a picture in London, which is black and white, and we need to add some colors. So the next filter is, go to filter, neural filters, and you have here in beta filters, something called, let's en enlarge this one. It's called colorize. You click on it, and in one click only, you will have colors in all the image. So that's how smart Photoshop 2021 is. It can detect all the colors. So you can even change the colors. If you don't like the blue color here, you can click on color and put it on, for example, this kind of red and click here. It will add like a dot here that you want this area to be red. You can add another dot here and this area will become red as well. If you wanna change the color of the water, you can click on the water and it becomes red too. You can even put it maybe at green, for example. So it becomes green. So if you don't like these colors, you can just click on them and drag them to the right or left and just drag this one, drag this one, it reverts to back to normal. And here you have even more options of changing the colors like scene, you can put it more to the red or to the blue and to the green and just more options to change the colors. But I think normal looks the best. Press OK, and you will have this nice looking colored image. And we have another example, like in this old photo, you can just go to filter, neural filters, and again to colorize, and click here, and suddenly this old image has colors. It's a very, very useful thing to do and a very fast way to add colors to old photos or to black and white photos. So what's left from the filters are super zoom, where you can zoom in a picture and fix the details. And there's JPEG artifact, but I don't think both of them are important. And there's lots of others which are soon to be released. But for now, you can play with the ones I taught you. So thank you so much. And that's it for this tutorial.